Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out some new makeup from Miniso. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tina. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay updated with future videos I post. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications. So I just came back from China and whilst I was there, I did a little bit of shopping, of course. And I went to Miniso and saw that they released some new products. They had this like new Love Some collection and the packaging to this kind of reminds me of the KKW makeup range. Now all the products that I bought from there were super cheap. Some of them were only like, I think like two, three dollars. And the most expensive product was the foundation, the cushion foundation. And that cost me about nine dollars US. Now, before I start the makeup, I need to prep my skin because skincare is super important. I've already cleansed my face. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my serum. I'm using the Dermalogica by Lumen C Serum. So I'm just going to pop some on my face. So this is like a vitamin C serum. It's going to help to brighten up my skin. Then I'm going to apply the new Prisma Protect from Dermalogica. If you're a lazy person when it comes to skincare, you're going to love this product because it's a multitasker. It hydrates your skin, protects it from UV damage and pollution, plus it also boosts your skin's luminosity. So I'm just going to apply this onto my skin. It's actually really lightweight and quick absorbing and I really like that it doesn't leave like a white cast like other sunscreens do. Now I'm ready to move on to makeup. First off, I'm going to apply a makeup base. This one costs me 25 RMB, which is about $3.70. So I'm just gonna pump a bit of this out. Oh, it's really white. I hope it doesn't stay white. Uh, why is this so white? Is this the right product? Yeah, it says it's a makeup base. I'm, I assume it's a primer. Why is it so white? On the box it says it offers you invisible pores and makes your makeup last all day. It didn't say anything about leaving a white cast like this. I'm just gonna try to remove some of this using my beauty blender. It's funny because I was just saying why I like the Prisma Protect because it doesn't leave a white cast. And next minute, what do I do? I put a makeup base on that makes me white. Well done, Tina, well done. Anyways, let's move on to the cushion foundation. Fingers crossed the color matches me. So this is the Porcelain Double Powder Pack and Air Cushion CC Cream. When you open it, it has the powder at the top and the cushion foundation underneath. There was only two shades there and I got number two natural. So this was the darker shade. I'm gonna go in with the cushion foundation first. Why? Why? Why is this always the case? Why are the cushion foundations so light? And why do they only have two colors? Uh, this is looking so bad. I just can't make it work, guys. What if I just spend more time blending it? I look like I have face paint on. Like, seriously. What are the chances of this oxidizing? I can't. Okay, this, I'm gonna scrap this, guys. I'm gonna remove this and start again and just apply like my normal foundation and then I will be right back. Okay, so I am back and I fixed my face. I'm ready to move on to highlight and contour. This stick was super cheap. I think it was the cheapest product that I bought and it cost me 15 RMB, which is equivalent to $2.20. So I'm gonna go in with the contouring side first and I'm just gonna map out my face. I thought the color would be darker, but it's actually much lighter than what it looks like on the stick. Now this brown is definitely more neutral. It has more of a gray undertone. The formula is actually quite creamy and really easy to blend out. Let's see how the highlighter is. I'm just going to highlight the bridge of my nose. This may be under my eyes a little bit. Oh, this is like really white but it does blend out pretty well. It's just like really creamy, just like the contour color. And it's not like super pigmented. For $2.20, it's actually not bad. Moving on to brows, I have this brow pencil that I bought for $2.20. Now the tip of it has more of a teardrop shape. 
which is pretty standard but on the other side it has this like mini brush that looks like a little toothbrush that's the main reason why I bought it because I like the brush at the end because typically it's a spoolie but yeah I want to see if this is actually good or not so I'm just going to go in and fill in my brows the color I bought was just like a brown the formula is actually quite soft so you need to be really light-handed otherwise your eyebrows can get dark real quick okay so I'm going to brush out my brows with using this brush and just kind of spread out the color a little bit because I feel like it's looking a bit dark this brush is not bad actually I think I like it better than the spoolie because it spreads like the color out really nicely though the formula of this brow pencil I wish it was a little bit more waxy and less creamy Let's move on to eyes. I got this super cute eyeshadow palette with all these nice warm colors. It has a combination of mattes and shimmers. I bought this palette for $4.50, so it is quite a bargain. Let's just hope that it's decent. Let me swatch a couple of these colors first. It's actually quite nice, those shimmers. First, I'm going to apply this brown shade as my transition color. So far, it's quite blendable. It's not like super pigmented or maybe because this color is quite light and natural looking. I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade in the middle and just apply that on top. It's quite subtle actually. I might try this other shimmer shade. Yeah, this one's a little bit more bright. And then maybe go in with this brown at the end. Just use it on the outer corners. This is actually not bad. This is actually quite good, guys. For $4.50, and you get all these colors that are super wearable for like a natural daytime look. Great if you like warm tones. I might do a halo eye actually. So far, there's no fallout, and the colors blend quite nicely. I think this might be a steal, guys. Next, I'm going to line my eyes. I actually bought two colored eyeliners a brown and a black and they only cost me $3 each. I did notice that the tip of these liners are much smaller than your regular like felt tip or brush tip liners. It might be really good for creating a really thin liner. So I'm actually going to use the brown one first. I'm confused, is this the brown or is this the black? Oh no, this is the brown, it just looks pretty dark. I am done with my liner. I actually really like how this looks and I like that the tip of this was really small because I found it a little bit easier to stay really close to my natural lash line. This brown is quite dark though. Um, my other brown liners, I feel like they look a lot more natural but this one, if I didn't know better, I would think that it was like a black liner. Not hating it though, it still defines your eyes but it's just a little bit more subtle than black liner. Time to move on to mascara. This is the Magic Double Effect. It actually has two brushes, a smaller one and a bigger one. I'm gonna use the smaller one first for my lower lashes. Check out the difference. It's like no lashes and then bam. Now I'm gonna use the bigger one for my top lashes. My top lashes never look as good as my bottom lashes because my curl always tends to drop. But if you watch my recent video where I did like the Korean eyelash curling hack using fire, you would know that I have a solution for this now. Just realized I forgot to turn on my mic for that part. So I'll just have to use the audio from the camera. Sorry guys. For cheeks, I'm gonna try out this charming blusher in shade number two. It did come with a little brush, but we all know these brush suck. So I'm gonna use my blush brush. This one is from Zoeva. Not sure if you guys notice, but I always apply my blush quite high, like kind of where you apply your highlight all the way up, because I feel like it kind of lifts your face and makes you look younger and more youthful. Gives you like a mini facelift, I guess. Ah, you know what I didn't buy? I didn't buy like a highlighter. That's what I forgot. That's okay, I'm just gonna go back into this shade and lightly dust a little bit of the eyeshadow and use it. As a highlighter. Ta-da! There you go. It's a little trick. 
For lips, I'm going to apply this watery lip color and it's in the shade matte orange. See, this confuses me. The name of it is a watery lip color, so I thought it was moisturizing, but then the color is matte orange. So is it a matte lipstick or is it like a hydrating lipstick? We shall see. I hope it's hydrating because my lips are in the worst condition today. It's so dry. I tried to exfoliate, but I feel like that did nothing. Ooh, it is a bright color. Okay, so the formula feels hydrating, like it, it feels moisturizing. But yeah, the color is matte orange. I get it now. I'm actually feeling this bright red lip. I actually quite like that it's an orangey red and it kind of complements my warm makeup. But yeah, I feel like I have not worn a bright lipstick in a long time. I should because it looks good. So this is the look that I created using Miniso makeup minus the base, of course, because that was a complete fail. Now, out of all the products I used, I'm going to pick the four that I feel like is worth your money. First is the eyeshadow palette. You get 10 colors, there's no fallout. The formula is easy to blend. It's not super pigmented. However, you can create like a decent eye makeup look with this. Plus it was super cheap. Next up is the eyeliner. I just really like the small tip to this and I really like the cute packaging. Next, I would have to go with the mascara. I just really like this on my lower lashes. On my top lashes, it was okay, but yeah, I do like the smaller brush better than the bigger brush. Finally, I'm gonna have to go with the lipstick. Surprisingly, the formula is not drying compared to other matte lipsticks. And I just really like this color. It reminds me of like a MAC lipstick that I had years and years ago. I think it was called like Lady Danger or something. But yeah, I like this lip color. What do you guys think? Anyways, that is it to this episode of Tina Tries. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Next time you're in Minnesota, you know which products are worth getting and which ones aren't. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye.